Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to sort some simple data in Excel 2010. First, here's some data that I have presented here, some simple data to explain how this sort sorting of data works. You can see I've got people listed by surname, by their first name, by their customer number and also by the number of purchases that they, these people have made. So I've got uh, words and I've got numbers mixed up here. And let's say I'd like to be able to sort my data um, by surname alphabetically, by first name alphabetically, by uh, lowest to highest customer number and also to see my number of purchases from the highest to the lowest. So let's see how we can do all of that. The first thing I want to do is sort my data by surname in alphabetical order so that the uh, names at the beginning of the alphabet are at the top of my spreadsheet and the names at the end of the alphabet are listed at the bottom. So the first thing to do is select my column A that my, uh, of the data that I want to sort. And in Excel 2010 the ribbon that I'm looking for is the data ribbon across the top up here so I'm going to select that. And you can see almost in the centre here are the sort tools for to help us sort the data. The first one I need is the A to Z sort, and this sorts the selection so that the lowest values, in other words A, B and C, are at the top of the column, and that the um, highest values, X, Y and Z, would be at the bottom of the column. So let's click on that button now to see what happens. This gives me a sort warning because Excel has figured out that there's other data here beside the data that I'm trying to sort. And it offers me the option to expand the selection to include all these other data, or just to continue with the current selection. So first off, let's see what happens if we continue with the current selection. And I'd like you to watch the name John Silver over here. So I'll click on sort. And I can see the data in my column A has been sorted from lowest, in other words B's, down to W at the end. But you can see that the name John Silver has not been maintained. In other words, I have not solved sorted columns B, C and D along with column A. So let me undo that sorting that I've done there and I'm back to the original data that I have. And this time I want to sort my column and I want the first name, customer number and number of purchases to change when I sort uh, each person by their surname. So I've got my column selected, click on the sort button and this time I want Excel to expand the selection for me. So I click on the sort button and this time you can see for example that John Silver and all his data have been sorted along with his surname and all the other data have been sorted here as well. If I want to sort people alphabetically by first name just select the first name column, select the A to Z button, keep the expand the selection option, click on the sort button and I can now get my lowest letter, D in this case, down to my longest or, or highest letters, W in this case, sorted here. The A to Z sort tool can also be used to sort numbers. If I want to, for example, sort customer number from lowest to high, so click on the mm -hmm. sort button here, accept expand the selection and my customer number from lowest, uh, 10 in this case down to 289, will be changed here and all my other data has automatically changed as well. Finally, supposing I want to sort my data from the um, highest to the lowest number of purchases, so this time I'm going to click on column D, this time I want to select the Z to A, so this will sort from largest to smallest button here, allow the expand the selection to be taken and I can see here that the highest number of purchases are listed at the top and the lowest at the bottom and all my other data over here has been sorted along with the number of purchases. So this helps me to manipulate my data and, and sort different columns at different times and it makes the data on my spreadsheet much more useful. I've got information now that I can use for example in preparing a report, examining customer details, seeing who the highest number of purchases are, the lowest, how do I manage these data and so on. I hope you found this short video useful. Thank you for your attention.